Epic Games Launcher is pretty okay, it's nothing fancy and it gets the job done, but sometimes it runs into completely weird errors. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Yandidor Technology, and in this video we're talking about how you can fix black screen errors in Epic Games Launcher. So there are a bunch of reasons why Epic Games Launcher might be giving you a black screen and the first one is that there is a small chance that you might not be meeting the minimum system requirements. Now this is for all uh, reasons and purposes kind of impractical that you wouldn't meet these requirements but in case you don't, well here is it. Other than that, the first practical thing that you can do to uh, fix this issue is to clear out the Epic Store web cache. To do this, press Windows key plus R to open uh, the run prompt and then type in local app data followed and preceded by percentage signs. Once you're done, click OK. And this will open a folder like this. So we scroll down until we see Epic Games Launcher, which is right here. Double click to open, head over to save and in here you will see these folders called webcache underscore and then some numbers. All you have to do is just go ahead and delete these folders. Make sure that Epic Games uh, has already been terminated before you do this. So you can do this by right clicking the Windows uh, menu icon and then clicking on task manager. Uh, in here you can just search for epic games and as you can see i have four epic games processes running so just select the epic games launcher right click and click on end task and then go back and delete those web cache folders and that should fix your issue the next thing you can do is uh, to go ahead and uh, just make sure that you have admin privileges and uh, that full screen optimizations are disabled for epic game store how to do this well just search for epic games launcher in the start menu and in here click on open file location this will take you to the epic games launcher shortcut right click it once again and then click on open file location once more to reach the actual executable file right click head over to properties and in here head over to the compatibility tab now in here make sure that you check the disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator options and then click apply then click ok and then restart epic games launcher and that should fix your problem. The last step is that you can try reinstalling or repairing Epic Games Launcher to make sure that you iron out any issues that might exist. To do this, press the Windows menu, uh, open the Start menu and search for Control Panel. I'm going to click on the first option that appears. In here, head over to Programs and Features, which will bring up a list of all the programs you have on your system. We are going to find Epic Games Launcher in this and click on it to select. And now you will see two options appear on the top. So the first thing they are going to do is click on the repair option to try and repair Epic Game Store to make sure it downloads any files that it might be missing or replaces any corrupt files and runs properly. And if that doesn't work, you can go ahead and uninstall it completely. Make sure that you also uninstall Epic Online Services uh, along with the game launcher. And then once both of the things are deleted, you can head back to Epic's website to download uh, the updated launcher, reinstall it, and hopefully that should get the problem fixed. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon, and tell us in the comments below what do you think about this stuff. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.